So welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. I get questions all the time on what this is right here. It's just a little AA battery powered pump. It's called the Terra Pump. And it's down in the description in our Amazon store. I get more questions about this than I have anything else on the entire channel since this existed. But if you're like me, it's absolutely annoying climbing up on a tractor, trying to put diesel in way up here, you spill it everywhere. So build you a little wooden stand. If you're still pumping out of five gallon containers like me, I hope to stop that one day. Check out these little Terra pumps. They're like 20 bucks, double A batteries. They last forever. Oh man, this is so nice. But that's not what today's episode's about. So we actually have a family member coming tomorrow to take pictures in front of our big beautiful oak. So I've got the, uh, the pasture mowed up there. And the thing of it is that oak has a ton of dead limbs that has fell recently underneath it. The last tropical storm damaged a few, broke them. So I've got to go in there, pick up all those limbs and that undergrowth is growing up really bad again and it's gonna choke that tree out. So we spent all that time and went through all that trouble to clear that tree out and I need to stay on top of mowing that. Uh, probably tomorrow, you'll see the days change. We'll go over to the neighbors. I need to mow his road out since I've already got the flail mower hooked up as you just seen. And uh, we'll kind of make this a little flail mowing episode, cleaning up the big oak. Who knows what else we'll get into.
Well, sometimes things happen, and uh, whew, this was a good one. Look at all that. Somehow, some thick stuff, I found some old fencing, and it is wrapped up everywhere. Barbed wire and regular fencing. So, I think the best way to tackle this is with a cutoff wheel and a side grinder. can't believe these dove are out here in this thick stuff. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Guys, we got some dove. They are finding this millet. They are not giving me time to get it on the ground. Look at all these dove. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's a lot of dove. There's 30, 40 flying out the end of the field. Okay, so I need to give you all a little food plot update. Wow, still dove going. Yes, this is yellowed up. Um, it could have used another shot of fertilizer. I wish I had brought you out of here when it was green. It was a huge difference between a little strip that I missed over there and over there and what I fertilized. I mean, wow, look at all these doves still coming up there. Awesome. So we wound up with more seed than I have any idea what to do with. There is just no point and fertilizing this anymore it's just there's millions of seeds out here honestly there is and as you can see the dove have already found it now sadly our season i wasn't thinking our season's a couple weeks later than normal this year i planted this too early but i'm gonna let the stalks get completely brown for another couple weeks then i'm gonna come out here and start mowing strips obviously the dove have found it and as soon as i can start mowing this on the ground and getting some nice clean bare spots all those dove will start coming daily and bringing their buddies. This is looking very promising. So my seed is going to come in a couple weeks early, it looks like. I don't think it's going to be a problem because I've literally had dove here for the last few months. Whenever I mowed that and put some seed down, now I need to spray that really bad again. But uh, it's looking promising. A little early, but I think we're going to have a really good shoot. And there is just, there's more seed out there than, than this little camera shows y'all. It did unbelievably well this year. I should have shut it off when it was green.
All right, well, make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm sure we have some animal pictures. Sadly, it's been weeks since I've checked my card. I have got to make a better habit of stopping, relaxing, enjoying this beautiful piece of property. I get in a routine every day of working, getting inside, editing, go to bed, get up, do the same thing, and I'm kind of missing out on the whole point of owning this place. So I'm gonna hold myself accountable to do that a little more. I'm excited to see what's on the game card pictures. I'm gonna share those with you. Hopefully you enjoyed the mowing episode. Love that tractor and flail mower combo. It did an awesome job. It's been a long day. Just got done doing a bunch of electrical at the house. We've got another electrical episode coming out. I've got the inside pretty much roughed in as far as all the boxes and all go. Now I'm moving to the outside for some real special boxes. So we will have a special episode coming up for that. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned. Coming right now is some animal pictures. Mm -hmm.